Welcome to Live BKS Show, Week 5 Recap, here with Louis Batesh, new I microphone, and Joe Sutt. Uh, we hope that the new microphone will be very helpful this week, uh, with you guys hearing us and no technical difficulties. It's going to be a lot better than uh, Rudy, Catton, Gamal. Combined. Yeah. Can't be any worse. I Nemi. hope so. Nemi's in the penalty box with his brother. How fast? What does that mean? I don't want you to watch the guy last night on the radio. Oh, because, I gotcha, I gotcha, the racial comment. Yes. Well, Nemi was scheduled to miss last week's game. Hold on, uh, can you center the camera a little bit, Samba? Looking for a camera center here. Thank you, Sammy. I don't know if that helps. Check the feed. I'm watching you, yeah. So, uh, anyway, Nemi was doubtful this week with an NAACP meeting, but did show up to the game. We'll get to those games in a few minutes. Before that, we just want to, uh, talk, to talk to you guys a little bit about the field conditions, and what went on Sunday morning uh, before the game started. Somebody on the BKS show wasn't happy. Yeah, and he's sitting in the middle. Right. So, uh, what happened this, Slugger? I can definitely tell you that uh, my team and the team that we played against, that would be Gladiators against, uh, I don't know, Stephen Gindy's team, mm -hmm. were not happy with the way that the situation was handled. Uh, we actually got to the field with Puddles sitting by second base, third base, center field, where? So on behalf of the BKS show, I'll uh, let everybody know that we were informed poorly of what happened. We sent the crew out to the field at uh, 6 a.m. to let us know, and the report that we got back on the field wasn't the report that we received when we got there. We were told that the fields were okay, and uh, we only needed to send one guy out there to go put some dirt on there and uh, apparently not. We needed to send five guys out there. Yeah. And, uh, so on behalf of the BKS Softball League, we apologize for the inconvenience that it caused anybody, okay. and uh, we'll make sure that it doesn't happen again. So and listen, can... we're a growing league. We're a growing league. Shit happens. That's all I would say. I would say on behalf of the uh, Players Committee, apology accepted. So uh, let's move past that and just get the fields in perfect condition. Lewis, you've been fairly quiet in the first three minutes of airtime tonight. Any reason? Are you watching a Met game or something? I had absolutely no problem with my feet. <laughs> and uh, you didn't have a problem with your games either, it seems like. Not at all. All right, well before that, we uh, don't want to forget that Mother's Day is this Sunday. So obviously we will be playing ball because we are a league that plays softball on Mother's Day. Get to the field early and stay late. No, no, is that nice? Yes. Get to the field early, play your games, get in and out, go home, Bring flowers, bring breakfast, a little bagel. I got an off-topic question. Do I got to buy my wife a gift for Mother's Day? She's not a mother yet. Right. No. So, no. so if anyone doesn't know, Joey's son's wife, Linda, who uh, graciously hosts us week after week, is like 14 months pregnant. Yeah. So she's right there. She's ready to go. We might no have to yet. end the show yeah. early. We might even have to. The be. show's... The show must go must on. Go on. All right. As long as there's no Ranger game, Joey will be there. So uh, hopefully it works out. But do I need to get her a gift? No. I'm going to say no. no. I'm barely getting my wife a gift. I'm not getting my wife a gift. Yeah. No. She's got her own kids. She's got her own kids. Maybe it's on you. Yeah. <laughs> so get your Mother's Day gifts uh, quickly. Let's jump into a recap of this week's games. Mm -hmm. A lot of good ball games. Where do we want to start? Do we want to start on a sweep? Which one? Ooh. Sweep City was Sweet again. City Park for 17. A, yeah, ridiculous. Because for a league that wasn't known for sweeps, they're decide, it's starting to look like there are three very good teams and three teams that just stink. There are three haves and three have-nots. Right. I used to come home and say, ah, oh, we split today. Right. And that was the norm. And this year it's been, ah, oh, we got swept today. Right. You, you got swept Yeah, today. Uh, talking about my team. And yeah. who's doing the sweeping? Splitting is like kissing your sister. <laughs> and getting swept. Getting swept is like <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that's, that's where it ends. Your that's where it ends. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm done with this getting swept nonsense. Let's start with you getting swept this week. Lin Sanity against No Deal, right? Lin Sanity against No Deal? Against No Deal. No Deal. Ike Mavora against David Azer. What happened? Let me tell you, let's start off with uh, Mavora. Pitching fantastic. Yeah. He, uh, That's enough credit for Mavora. No, I'm just kidding, I relax. Right. Speaking of Mavora, Luke, I, no, no, no breaking news on that. Okay. Um, no, Ike is pitching really well, and the team as a whole is starting to come together. Um, let's throw this stat out there. They were 0-4 when they started the, the season. 
DK comes along. Six, six game winning streak. DK are, is six and zero. Oh. That's are, why they call him DK Dumbman. They are. are they will be the team to beat in the league this year. And you've been saying that. I told you from. You've been saying that. Third, I mean, he picked Eddie Elbaz from day one, but okay, now from third week, you could you could change your mind. That's I said no Eddie Elbaz is an excellent pitcher. I right. Didn't say that their team was the team. The so like so the, aside like, from Avor, what what happened this week? Let me start you off in game one. Uh, game one. It wasn't even. What happened? Nothing. Go for it. Game one, it wasn't even that uh, everybody was pitching so well and that their bats were awesome. It came out to be uh, an Azer stinks show. He, he just <laughs> stunk. He was so bad. I was catching him and I didn't even want to tell him that he stunk. Why don't we, why don't we rename the league oh my, David Azer League? Oh my God. That's all we talk about. Yeah, guys. we like him. We like him. Has he, you know the truth is, this kid's a good kid, good heart. I like his charge of really, calling. He's trying really, really hard. Calling? But uh, David Azer, if you're watching, let's uh, let's get you on the phone. We want to talk to you about what happened on Sunday. Let me just re- won't be so hard on you. Let me just recap the second inning. By the way, not only <laughs> of game one of game one. Okay, first guy walk, second guy walk, third guy walk grounds out into a double play. So there's hope here. Yeah. There's hope here. Sure, right? sure. Next guy single. Next guy walk. Next guy walk. Next guy walk. Next guy walk <laughs> RBI. Next guy walk <laughs> RBI. <laughs> This guy walk <laughs> RBI. Next guy. Oh, then now they batted around. So they. By the way, they, Azer, if you didn't get the picture, but they're taking two on you, but they're sitting on two strikes. Next guy walk RBI, and then the last guy swung on the first pitch, which was. Are you kidding? Who? Ironic. No, I'm kidding. no, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Oh, okay. But the next guy grounded it out. That's very frustrating, especially five runs. Catcher. Five runs. How many walks? Catcher, I got the most action. I was. I got my, I gave my money's worth. You got the only action. How many walks total that inning? Second inning alone. One, two, three, four, five, seven. That's a lot of walks for one inning. Uh, what happened to second? Uh, uh, like uh, fact, 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 stat. Eddie Alves has six walks on the season. On the season, six walks on the season. David Azer seven. In inning two of game one. Ridiculous, this kid is. <laughs> not Hazid, but the truth is he's such a good kid, and I'm not going to tell you I don't love him. I love him. But also the field, the we didn't really help him out. On those two singles that happened in the inning, there was a little errors. And, uh, I mean, it's hard for the team to be focused in the yeah. field when the pitcher's making so many errors and so many uh, walks. But the field also has to help him out. So yeah. I'm not blaming it all on Azer. The field was not there. And hence, game one outcome, win Saturday, losing 9-1 to no deal. You brought in a backup pitcher? Yeah. So they brought in Shweki, which was no better, because Shweki looked like an older version of Azer. <laughs> and uh, the, he just wasn't wearing red socks. That was the only difference between the two. But then they brought in Barry in to be in the sixth. In which, what did he, was it? Did they bring in? It doesn't say here. But they brought in Barry, and he allowed one run in three innings. Okay. So now you think... After being down, ain't nothing. We bring in Barry. He only lets up one run on a good hit, by the way. It was a clean hit. Right. Game yeah. two. Barry starts game, game two. Game two. Lou, who do you go with? Azer? Barry? Oh, that was game one? Oh, that was game one. I thought that was two no. games. Who are you going to go with in game two? I wasn't. Uh, who would I go in game two? Not Azer, obviously. Barry, right? the, answer, the correct answer to this question is Barry Antony. Uh, Barry Antony. Correct. Ding. So... I mean, not correct, because a lot of guys on Insanity voiced their opinion, but um, the truth is we all stood by our captain. Sure. And, and, Who's uh, your captain? Farka. And, uh, and um, he went with Azer. Do with you think Farka will be captain next year? I'll tell you this about being captain. I don't think I'm going to be a captain next year. Can't do it, huh? I can do I it, it's but... It's so easy. No. I've been captain for seven years. Yeah. No issues, baby. I'm not a captain this year. Raise the captain. Yeah, really. Really? Go go tell a guy, you know, it's, it's, a it's not easy to tell a guy he's not playing this inning and he's not playing this game. And it's just, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with it that you might not realize when you sign up to go to the draft because you're excited about picking a team and you think you can pick the best team. But then when it comes down to it and you have 12 players one week and you got to tell two guys they're sitting in the field, it's not easy. Well, first, you always have to make sure you only have 10 guys. Right. So you tell the guy that we're not playing this week. Second, you put it and, and you have somebody else as the bad guy. Okay, that's Chucky for me. I try, but he does not really doing that for me. And the way I do it this year is I have Ray as a puppet regime. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, well, any live call-ins, we have to give out the number now. Write it down with a pen. 917-647-9276. Well, we want Ray to call in first. Once and again, 